It's Monday, which means not only is John released, but it's time for our weekend box office report brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. Coming in at number one is the Leonardo DiCaprio film The Revenant, climbing up from the number two position last week, making $16 million. Coming in at number two is Star Wars The Force Awakens with $14.25 million, up one spot from its number three finish last week. In third position is last week's number one film Ride Along 2, making an additional $12.9 million. In fourth is the new Zach Efron, Robert De Niro film Dirty Grandpa, making $11.5 million. And rounding out the top five is the new horror film The Boy, making $11.26 million on just a $10 million budget. John, what stands out to you about this week's box office report? Uh, a couple things really stand out to me. Uh, number one, can we say that the fifth wave drowned? No. Oh. Okay, that, no, that, was, that, was, that was a weak way to start off, wasn't it? <laughs> but yeah, so fifth wave, which did not look good at all. Apparently, everybody else across the nation also kind of agreed that it looked really sad and pathetic and weak. I, I don't know what Leah... I, I, I just have no idea what Leah Scheiber was doing in that movie in the first place. Now, I, I will confess, been on vacation, did not go to see the film myself, but I had no interest going to see it. So it doesn't surprise me that other people didn't really have a lot of interest in going to see it too. The other thing that stands out to me is this. I think I will officially call it. It's official. It's, it's done. Star Wars, The Force Awakens, as I have said all along, will not catch... Avatar to be the number one film. It's now trailing by like $800 million and it made $14 million this weekend. So that ship is sailed, but that's fine. I'm still going to go see it six or seven more times, so that's all good. <laughs> Revenant climbing back up to number one. Big snow blizzard on the East Coast. A lot of people felt like they are in the mood to see a snow movie, mm -hmm. I guess. So they went to go see Ride Along and not a movie based in Miami, so they did not go to see Ride Along too. Um, <laughs> other than that, it's, it's a pretty standard fare kind of a rundown. Um, but I did kind of expect... I expected Dirty Grandpa to do a little bit better, not because it's good, because apparently it's not, but because I thought the trailer was great. I thought the trailers for Dirty Grandpa were really funny, and so I was interested in seeing it. I thought more people would be. Um, so yeah, there's that, and I thought Fifth Wave would do a little bit better as well, but not really all that shocking of a, of a week this week. What, Schnepp, what do you think? Yeah, nothing really too shocking. I mean, we are, we're all joking about you know, what's going to be fourth or fifth, Dirty Grandpa or The Boy. We knew none of those would, like, climb up past, you know, The Revenant or Star Wars or even Ride Along. Uh, I'm happy to see Revenant as number one. I mean, just because just it makes it not the same. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, I mean, I, I thought The Revenant's a really good film, but, you know, I mean, it doesn't really have any competition. There's no real, there's no one like, we'll take the throne from any of this kind of box office stuff. Uh, the Fifth Wave, no one really wanted to see it. Dirty Grandpa, it's one note. I mean, it looks, who doesn't like Robert De Niro screwing a bunch of 18-year-olds? I don't know. <laughs> but once you've seen that, and you're like, are we in Cancun, or what is this? There's a bunch of half-naked people. Uh, you know. It was just last year you and I had that discussion where you said, damn it, what I need more of is yeah. Robert De Niro screwing 18-year-olds. Yeah, 18-year-olds, because sure it was the the like there was some went. something with him with a 20-year-old. It's, like, it's too old. <laughs> too old. <laughs> too old. <laughs> Come on, Niro. What the hell, De Niro? <laughs> I want more of that. But with the oil and stuff in the youngsters. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think clearly America wanted Al Pacino screwing 18 years. Yeah. Oh, that's what you wanted. I, uh, I think this weekend means Star Wars is back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Back from three to number two. It took a week off to say hi to the kids, take care of the old folks, and now it's coming back with a vengeance. I actually subscribe to your weather theory a little bit that people didn't want to see uh, Dirty Grandpa because it was too warm, right along to way too warm of a climate. They wanted to see snow, so they saw The Revenant. Star Wars has a lot of snow in it, that's so right. I think that's where it went. You know, The Boy, it just continues this trend of, of horror movies that are are made for nothing and will make their budget back opening weekend. So we're gonna keep seeing these movies. Now, I didn't see The Boy. I was not really aware that it was coming out all that much. Didn't even see a trailer for it. So I'm not sure if the movie's good, if it looked good, but people like getting scared in theaters enough so to where you can make these kind of movies and make your budget back. So more power to it. The Fifth Wave I did see and it's horrendous. So oh. you should not go see it. It's a terrible movie and it didn't deserve to be in the top five. It didn't even open on that many screens. I think it was under 3,000 screens wow. for a movie that you're trying to position as a big budget independent state like Alien Takeover. It just it didn't have any of that magic. But yeah. did, it made more. It made 10 times more than Gem and the Holograms, though. 
Yes, it did. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> if that's and your if, barometer. And if that is now your barometer, you are in a rough place. Like, you're in a really rough place. Like, the thing about The Boy was, and once again, I've been on vacation for a while. The only film I went to go see was I wanted to go see Star Wars with my mom because my mom's the one who got me turned on to Star Wars. So, yeah. anyway, but I avoid the rest. The Boy is another one to me that looked rather intriguing. I, I got to confess, I was creeped out by the trailer. Because if you read the synopsis of it, it seems absolutely bloody ridiculous. But for whatever reason, the trailer for me worked, and I was curious. And it's it's nice to see, like horror project like that on ten million dollar budget can come out on opening weekend and make eleven million bucks. Mm -hmm. That's got to be encouraging for them. Speaking of horror, Zach Efron just cannot get a movie to open well. I mean, you talk about how you thought <laughs> yeah. Dirty Grandpa would do better. I'm surprised it did eleven million dollars because since we saw here the Collider Studios, we watched that trailer the day it came out, and we were all laughing. Sure. And then by the end of the trailer, they, they, it was running out of steam by the end of the trailer. Sure. Since that trailer hit we've seen less and less and less it really felt like the studio was trying to hide that movie from us after that opening trailer and so i was shocked to see it on the top five anywhere hey guys if you like this clip click here to watch the entire episode also make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at collider